Police in the city of Jinnan have issued a report after investigating rape allegations by an Alibaba female employee against her manager. In the report, the police stated that the two suspects, with last names of Wang and Zhang, are being processed by the police for forcible indecency, but there's no evidence of rape. According to an 8,000-word allegation written by the victim, surname Zhao, that has gone viral on social media, she was forced to go on a business trip to Jinnan by her superiors at Alibaba. During a dinner on July the 27th, she was forced to drink alcohol and passed out. After she passed out, she was moved to a hotel room and later found out that her manager entered her room four times during the night. When she woke up, she was naked, the room was a mess and her underpants were missing. Moreover, she discovered an open condom in the bed stand. By looking at hotel surveillance, she discovered that her manager and client repeatedly entered her room. Police report seems to have avoided the main accusation and instead focused on the fact that they had not found enough evidence that Xiao was forced to go on the business trip to drink alcohol. Chinese drinking culture when doing business is well known and commonplace, as well as the unstated rules for female employees in these situations. After the allegations went public and the CCP media also helped publicise the story, there were speculations that Beijing was using the opportunity to continue its attacks on large private enterprises like Tencent and Alibaba. After days of speculation, the lenient police report suggests Beijing has had a change of heart and is letting Alibaba 